For those of you who play guitar and sing at the same time, especially metal music, I'm about to give you a tip that's going to save you a ton of frustration later. I'm going to show you how to align the vocal parts of your song to fit the guitar parts so that you can sing and play those at the same time with no issues. Reaching for a higher purpose Bleeding but I will give in You know the struggles that I face But I will do that all right, before we dive into this lesson, the reason I'm sharing this video with you is because I almost screwed up. So I'm currently recording the rough draft vocals for a new album that I'm writing, and I almost made the mistake that I made on the album I released in 2019 called Masterpiece. So there's two songs on that album that have these specific parts that I have a tough time playing guitar and singing at the same time. Now, the reason I didn't figure that out until later is because, you know, in the modern era of recording, we record our guitar tracks, then we go back and we record the vocals. And if you're a solo artist like myself and don't really play your own music live because it's just you and you don't really have a band, you know, you may not feel the need to make sure that you can play your song and sing it at the same time. Well, later I decided I wanted to do virtual live shows and play my own music live on camera for you guys. Then I got to practice practicing those songs and I'm like, eh, I can't do this. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. And first I'm going to share the example of where I almost screwed up. So this is a song I'm working on right now. This is the chorus. And I want you to pay attention to the very first part of the phrasing of the lyrics here. Here's the problem. I can't sing the way that's phrased and play it at the same time, or I, I probably can, but it just doesn't really feel natural and it's just very difficult for me. So instead of making things more difficult, I'm going to show you how I'm going to change that vocal line a little bit to make it fit so that I can sing it and play it at the same time. So again, here's that first phrasing. I'm just going to play a couple seconds for you again so you can hear what it sounds like. So I sat down and tried to play and sing that at the same time, and I'm like, oh crap, I'm having a hard time keeping that specific phrasing while I'm playing that rhythm on guitar. So instead of holding that part out, I want to just shorten that a little bit so that it's in sync with how the rhythm guitars are being played, and it's going to help me sing that a lot easier and play at the same time. So instead of holding that out, dragging that out, region, I'm just really cutting it short and kind of chopping it so that it fits that rhythm in sync. Region, region for a higher. Now, of course, I've already tested the fact that I can play and sing that at the same time. In fact, after the first time I recorded it with that longer phrasing on the reaching, I realized that shortening that just kind of naturally fell into place there. Reaching for now here's the thing you don't always have to align every word or every like every phrase along with that rhythm guitar it doesn't have to fit perfectly and be perfectly in sync throughout the entire song there are times where you may want to hold out a vocal line or you may want to sing that vocal line just slightly off from from the rhythm and from what the guitar is doing that's okay the point is is test it first 
like as you're writing the song, you know, play and sing it at the same time before you even start recording that track. Because again, in the modern era of recording, and if you're a solo artist, again, like myself, it can be very difficult because we have the rhythms in our heads. You know, we're naturally guitar players first. So we record that rhythm and it's like, okay, I like this. And then we start hearing lyrics in our head and we kind of hear that melody line so we record that as well but oftentimes we forget to make sure we can play and sing it at the same time because even if you're a solo artist you may play your music live at some point and bands do this too like if you happen to be a guitarist and you're the lead singer uh, for the band you know you're playing your rhythms and if you don't have a second guitar player to kind of hold down the fort and back things up for you then you know it's just your guitar shining front and center along with your vocals that's that's a lot of pressure so when you're writing your music you know try to align it the best way you can with the rhythm guitar so again as you're writing this is like the biggest tip i can give you as you're writing your music sure go ahead and record those rhythm tracks get those down because you know if you don't record them now you will forget them they'll be gone so yeah lay those guitar tracks down and then maybe even put like a dummy drum track if you use something like easy drummer you know that's what i use to put my my fake drums in there before the real drums get recorded so go ahead and put all that stuff in there even put a bass guitar in there but then as you're writing that song you can write the lyrics but as you're forming those melody lines and more so with death metal how the phrasing the structure of the words sit into the song you need to play along with that so grab your guitar and start playing along with the rhythm tracks you've already recorded maybe just open up a new track and, and press the button so you can hear it right and play along with those other rhythm guitars and sing the lyrics that you wrote for the song and here's the thing if you do this first and i didn't do this first with this song that's why i'm having to go back and restructure some of the phrasing <laughs> in the vocal lines but if you do it this way before you actually record those vocal tracks you know if you play and, and sing at the same time you will find that as you're playing there will be like this natural structure that just comes out because it's going to be how you play and sing at the same time you know we all have unique capabilities we all have like this unique thing inside of us as musicians that it's just going to come out naturally as we as we start acting on it if that makes sense so as you start playing and then start singing you're going to find that there's going to be like a natural structure that comes out that fits your rhythm guitar playing as well and that's a beautiful thing and then when you go to record your vocal tracks you're already going to have the structure down so it's going to fit with what you were playing and singing before so that way you've got it down you know you can play and sing the song you can do that at the same time with no issues now let me back up for a second I'm not saying that you should make everything easy and I'm not saying you should always take that easiest road possible because there are times when you might want a vocal line to do something a little bit different. You might want the structure of that vocal to be kind of offset from the guitar or do something a little different in certain parts of the song. For those, you still need to play and sing it at the same time and just try different things, kind of go off the beaten path, but you still need to play it and sing it at the same time before you record that vocal line to make sure that one you're gonna be able to play and sing it at the same time with no issues but secondly you want it to be like this just natural thing that's this already kind of within you if that makes sense again because when you start singing and playing at the same time something different is going to come of that as opposed to you just singing along with your guitar track that you've already created without playing at the same time and when you want to go off the beaten path a little bit when you want to like have some of those vocal line structures a little bit different or maybe you want a vocal line to carry over or something like that you know you can work on those just just work on those just practice them over and over you know just because something is difficult don't shy away from it necessarily but at the same time I don't want you guys to overcomplicate the process by trying to sing something that's just not fitting with your playing. Sometimes it may sound good when you record it along with the guitars, but again, if you can't sing and play it at the same time, that's going to cause a problem later down the road, just like the two songs that 
I wrote like a year ago that I have problems singing and playing at the same time. So I've got to, you know, obviously practice those more. But I hope this video helps you and I hope that it saves you some time and frustration. There's not really like a checklist or anything. It's just the really just a simple tip of as you're writing your songs, make sure that you are singing and playing at the same time as you're writing so that you can build that natural structure of vocal alignment along the way and that's just going to save you a ton of time and frustration trust me on that one and i'm so glad i caught it with this song now the song you heard the little clip you heard is actually a new song that's going to be on an album that's not released yet at least not at the time of making this video uh it should be out the album again will be called overcometh and it's very much themed as you might imagine but that's going to be coming out early 2021 also i want to encourage you to check out my last album in 2019 called masterpiece if you haven't heard that yet there are links in the description of this youtube video here i've also got some other free stuff i'm giving away so check out the links in there guys please give this video a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm which only the secret gnomes know how that stuff works but please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and of course let me know if you have any questions about this video and about some of the things that I went over here. I'm very happy to help you guys out. That's what my channel is all about. It's not just about my music, but it's also about helping you as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next video, as always, keep it metal.